And now, introducing your Philadelphia 76ers! So sick with it, so sick with it. Set guard, Allen Iverson! At the other guard position, Andre Iguodala! At the other forward position, Chris Webber! At center, Samuel Gallimbert! Welcome everyone to this exciting NBA exhibition game here in Philadelphia. The visiting Indiana Pacers will score up against the 76ers here on 2K Sports. Hello everybody, I'm Kevin Harlan here with Kenny Smith. Craig Sager will join us later on. Well, both of these teams have some outstanding ball handlers, Kevin. If you love the killer crossover, the spin moves, and all the shake and bakes, this is the game to watch. As the teams get ready to go, let's check out the Toyota key matchup of the game. Kenny? Well, Kevin, this game features an exciting matchup at the point. Iverson is, in my mind, the top point guard in the game today. Is a terrific ball handler with either hand. And he has countless moves to blow by defenders and get wherever he wants to on the floor. His opponent on the other end is no slouch either. Tinsley is a very capable player. This guy has all the heart. He gives you 100% every moment he's on the floor. You got to respect a player like that. And now a quick look at the starting lineups as we get set for the tip-off. The Sixers do a great job of knocking down their shots at the line. The Pacers attack the offensive glass that gets them a lot of second-chance buckets. Well, it's time for the tip-off. Let's get underway. The 76ers take the tip off and will set up the offense. The pass to Korver. Feeds it down low. Jammed in by Gallenberg. What to set the tone here from the first bucket. Swings it to Jackson. Passes to Granger. Bounce pass to O'Neal. Nice two-handed slam by O'Neal. Let's check in with Craig Sick. Well, guys, I had a chance to talk with Maurice Cheeks, coach of the 76ers. When asked what's key for them, he said, with their excellent D, it's critical that we stay focused on offense, move the ball around, and keep them off balance. Granger. Kevin? Thanks, Craig. The finger roll was laid in by Granger. The 76ers with the ball. It's a two-point differential. To Corver. Passes to Iverson. The pass to Igudala. Six seconds to shoot. The bounce pass to Igudala. Pulled in by Gallenberg. Soft touch in the lane by Gallenberg. Fantastic play for the garbage bucket. That's how you get after it. The Pacers with the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Swings it to Jackson. Lock to O'Neal. O'Neal. Gallenberg snatches down the defensive board. Dumps it inside. Hit back iron and bounced in. Wheeled in by Corver. The inbound to Tinsley. They're down six to four. Swung it to Jackson. Jackson with the crossover. Tries the spin move. Pass to Granger. Six seconds to shoot. Skipped it to Tinsley from just inside the arc. Bounces off the left rim and out. The Sixers with the ball. 2.51 left in the first quarter. 
Skips it to Iverson. Passes to Igudala. Dumps it to the middle. Tries to back down. Dishes it to Seaweb. Slides in. Count the basket and the foul. Shooting one. Good for the three-point play. The Pacers bring it up, and it's a five-point game. Skip pass to Jackson. Dishes to the middle. Seawell saw the pass coming and cut it off for the steal. Great finish by Iverson. Iverson made the D a non-factor on that one. He's so quick, he can get position on you in a blink of an eye. Swings it to the right side. Pump fakes. Stop the run. Grab it. Reels it in. To Corver. 155 left in the first. Here comes the double team. Jackson ties it up, and that's a jump ball. The 76ers hit the tip. Crosses it over. Fades away in the lane. It falls. The Pacers will take their first timeout. The Pacers bring it up. They're trailing by nine. Passes to Granger. The pass to Jackson. Jackson tries to back him in. Seven on the shot clock. Passes to Granger. Behind the arc. Rebbe grabs the defensive rebound. The 76ers with the ball. They're shooting 75% for the quarter. To Igudala. Dish down low. O'Neal read that pass and picked it off. Seaweb picked off that pass for his second takeaway of the contest. To stop the drought, flips it in for two. Ranger got right to the rack because the D totally lost track of him. The Sixers with the ball. They're leading 13 to six. Swings it to Igudala. Weber backs down. The layup is good by Seaweb. 40 seconds left in the first. Passes it to the left side. Passes to Jackson. Dumps it to O'Neal. Kicks it out to the outside. Six seconds to shoot. Lobs it to the middle. With one on the 24. Blows the layup. The Sixers with the ball. There's seven for nine for the quarter. Passed it to the top of the key. Passes it to the left block. The layup was tossed in by Weber. Weber got in a prime scoring position and got the job done. Nice execution. Beyond the arc, can't capitalize. We're at the end of one, and it's already a double-digit lead. The score, 17 to six. Kenny, what's the story so far? Well, Kevin, a couple of players have really stood out. Weber has been taking care of business in the first quarter. He's getting the shots he wants, and he's knocking them down. Ranger has shouldered the offensive load for his squad, but it hasn't been enough to keep him close so far. They'll need to make some adjustments here. Thanks, Kenny. Just a few moments remaining as we get set to resume.
O'Neal inbounds to start the second quarter. The pass to Jackson. Pass inside. Backs him down. To the right. Bounced off that iron and in. O'Neal found a gap and took it right to the rack. Passes to Corver. They're trying to wear him down with some full court man to man defense. Skipped it to the high post. Passes to the left side. Iverson gives the up fake. With the step back. Five on the shot clock. Blocked to Tinsley. The Pacers bring it up. About four and a half minutes left in the half. The shot was a little short, but it was dropped in by Daniels. Tinsley did a nice job to get the Rock there in the position to score. The 76ers with the ball. They're eight for 11 from the field. Dish to Igudala. Tries to post him up. Passes to Iverson. Corver with the crossover. With the shot, Rebel corrals the miss. Goaltending goal, the basket will count. Substitution on the court. Foster will come off the floor. The Pacers with the ball. It's a nine point spread. Passes to the high post. Daniel bounces it off the left rim and in. Boy, that's a lot harder than it looks. You've got to get your body angled in just right to shield you from the defense. Inbound pass to Iverson. The Sixers with the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the second. Passes to the right side. Launches beyond the arc. Igudala hauls in the long rebound. Jackson saw the pass coming and cut it off for the steal. Hit the front of the rim and bounced out off the mark by Daniels. Swings it to the left side. Swings it to Corver. Corver tries to back down. Six seconds to shoot. Kicked it out to Iverson. Bounces it to Igudala. Grab inside by Sewell. Tries again. Gets all of the rim, but can't get it to fall. 2.47 left in the half. The pass to Jackson. Dumps it down low. O'Neal backs in. A three ball. Hunter grabs the rebound inside. The 76ers with the ball. They're shooting 52% from the field. Passes to Corver. To Igudala. Passes it to Hunter. Six seconds to shoot. Lobbed it to Weber. Goes up. A little long, but it goes in. Weber did a nice job here, working inside from a close range bucket. Pollard inbounds it to Tinsley. The Pacers with the ball. They're behind 21 to 12. Backs down. Two minutes remaining. On the paint, rips the core. O'Neal. The Sixers with the ball. 154 left in the second. Has left side. Skips it to the high post. Has right side to Igudala. Tries to back him in. Six seconds to shoot. The handoff to Igudala. Fades away. Buries it. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid-range jumper. He can stroke those given a chance. Swings it to Jackson. The feed to O'Neal. Takes a three. Bounced off back iron and in. They're leading by six. Passes to the left side. Skips it to Hunter. Feeds it to the middle. 
Iverson. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Dallenberg will hit the floor. Substitution on the court. Pollard will head to the bench. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. The Pacers with the ball. 59 seconds left in the half. The pass to Granger. To the rim. It falls short. The Sixers with the ball. They're three for nine for the quarter. Iverson doesn't get the finger roll. The Pacers with the ball. And it's an eight-point game. Passes it to the right side. Feeds it down low. Goes up. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. It looks like he bit off a little bit more than he could chew with that spin move. Six-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Snatched down on D by O'Neal. The Pacers with the ball. 18 seconds left in the second. Lobs it inside. Skip pass to Tinsley. Passes to Granger. Passes it to the left block. Igudama anticipated the pass and cut it off. We've reached halftime with the score 25 to 17. Some good action so far, but both teams know that this game is just getting started. We can't afford to come out flat here in the second half. We've got to pick it up and be ready to play. Well, it's time for our 2K Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Kevin. The Sixers are out in front. Weber is scoring with tremendous efficiency. It seems like every time he touched the ball, they came away with a bucket. The Pacers are struggling to stay close. O'Neal has been giving it his all, but they're going to all have to kick it in high again in the second half. Thanks for the update, Kenny. Now let's take a look at the team stats from the first half. The Sixers have been grabbing a ton of rebounds in the first half. They stay strong on the boards. They can widen that gap even further. Now with the Gatorade around the cooler update, let's check in with Craig Sager. Well, guys, after the first half, I talked with Maurice Cheeks, coach of the 76ers. He told me that he thinks they played very well in the first half. He said we're doing all right on the scoreboard, but it's not just about the score. It's about playing at the highest level you can. We're still making some mistakes. They've been discussed, and we'll see if they're corrected in the third. Guys? All right, Craig. We should be ready to go momentarily. O'Neal throws it in to start the third. Passes to Granger. Swings it to Jackson. The pass to Foster. To O'Neal. Seven on the shot clock. 13 feet out. It's the far iron, but it goes in. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. Iverson spins. Skips it to Corver. Shoots. Money on the jump shot. The Pacers bring it up. About four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Passes to the middle. In close. Cans the shot. Jermaine. That's his bread and butter right there. That's hard to stop. And it's a six-point game. Crosses it over. Tries the spin move. Skip pass to Corver. Passes it to the left block. Tinsley picked it off back there, and that is his second takeaway of the contest. Bounced it to the high post. 
Pass to O'Neal. Jackson backs in. Passes to Tinsley. Seven on the shot clock. Swung it to Granger. Backs him down. Passed it to the outside. The long two is buried by Tinsley. Great delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the D and set up the shot perfectly. Iverson brings it up. He's got eight points. Passes to the left side. The lob to Dallenbear. And it's tracked down the 76ers. Called in by Foster. The Pacers bring it up, facing a narrow deficit. The dish to O'Neal. Weber jumped in front of the pass and came up with the steal. The turnaround, Jay Igudala snatches it inside. Igudala hacks, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Shooting two. And he makes the first one. He's off on the second. To Tinsley, 2.56 left in the third. Passes to Granger. Lobs it to O'Neal. And it's tracked down the Pacers. Granger sizing up his man. It's picked off by Iverson. Dishes it down low. Corver. Great pass by Iguodala. Iguodala saw his buddy had a lane to the bucket, and he led him with the pass. Beautiful play. They trail by seven. Swings it to Jackson. Lobbed to the right side. Corver intercepted the pass. The pass to Iverson. Nice shot, but what an assist by Iguodala. Skips it to Granger. Passes to Jackson. Jackson bricks it off the front iron. To Iverson. Corvin crosses it over to the rim. Bricks it off the back of the rim. The Pacers with the ball. 147 left in the third. Passes it to Jackson. Swings it to Granger. The pass to O'Neal. O'Neal sizing up his man. Six seconds to shoot. Pacers wasn't paying attention. Stepped in the line, and that's a turnover. Inbound pass to Tinsley. Dishes inside. Granger. Corver snatches the rebound. The Sixers with the ball. It's a nine-point spread. With the crossover. Stolen by Jackson. That'll be his second takeaway of the contest. Picked off by Igudala. That's his second takeaway of the contest. Back to Igudala. Igudala fouled, and he was real close to getting the three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. The Pacers will take a timeout here. They're 11 for 23 from the floor. Skip pass, left side. To end the drought, Igudala rips it down. The 76ers bring it up. They're in front, 33 to 23. Hands it to Corbin for three. Foster skies for the rebound. 
to the right. Thirty-seven seconds left in the third quarter. Passes to Granger. Passes it to the right block. Banked in Foster. by Foster. O'Neal kept his head up, saw the open man, and made the great pass for the assist. That's textbook. They're playing him tight all the way up the court. Full court, man-to-man -man deep. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Iverson takes a step back. Step on the line, and they will give up the ball. The Pacers with the ball. A chance to play for the last shot here. To Granger. Skip pass to Jackson. Passes to Foster. From deep. A little long, but it goes in. We have just finished the third quarter. The score, 35 to 28. We still have one quarter to go. Can any thoughts as to who will win the player of the game? I think it's still up in the air, but I'll tell you I'd go with. Weber has been holding his own out there, and they've got the lead. I won't be surprised if he gets the player of the game. Thanks, Kenny. Now it's time to begin the fourth quarter. Weber throws it in to start the fourth quarter. The pass to Corver. Bounces it down low. Takes it up. Defensive oh, foul. barely misses the shot, but he'll go Shooting to the line two. for two. Can't sink the first. Good on number two. Passes to Granger. Granger with the crossover. Bob to O'Neal. The shot from the right block was canned by O'Neal. O'Neal has been on a tear, and they need him to keep it up if they're going to come back from this deficit. The 76ers bring it up. About four and a half minutes left in the game. To Corver. Dish inside. Count the layup by Iguodala. The Pacers with the ball. They're shooting 53% for the game. Passes to Granger. Here comes the double team. Bounced it to Granger. The 10-footer. Jackson keeps it alive. Oh, man. Can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. The steal by Granger. The soft Danny. finger roll by Granger. The 76ers with the ball. They lead by six. The pass to Igudala. Passes to Corver. Launches it. Foster yanks it down inside to Jackson. I don't think that fancy spin moves are his strong suit. He should stay away from that stuff because apparently it throws off his shot. Swung it to Granger. Tries to back down. Dumps it off. Granger. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. If you're going to foul, at least make sure they don't get the bucket. Rough sequence for the deep. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. And it's rebounded by Dallenberg. Swings it to Corver. Passes to the top of the key. Swings it to the right side. Gives the up fake. Seven on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. Too much mustard on that one. That's how you play, physically. Nice board right there. 
Passes it to Granger. The pass to Tinsley. Passes to Jackson. To O'Neal. Bounce pass to Jackson. From the wing. D'Alembert grabs it, and that's his seventh rebound so far. Iverson brings it up the court. He's shooting 57% from the field. Passed it to Corbin. Swings it to the left side. Crosses it over. Skip pass to the baseline. Pulls the trigger. Money on the 10-footer. Iverson set that up perfectly. Nice look. The Pacers with the ball. 2-10 left in the fourth. Swings it to Jackson. Feeds it down low. O'Neal got the bucket and the foul. Great shot. He'll go to the line for one more. Shooting one. Complete the three-point play. They're clinging to a small lead. Passes to Igudala. Dumps it inside. Weber tries to post him up. It's off to the left by Weber. They're shooting 33% from beyond the arc. The pass to Granger. Dumps it to the middle. Steps back. Passes to Jackson. Seven on the shot clock. The bounce pass to Foster. Corver came up with a steal. The 76ers bring it up. 125 left in the game. To Corver. Jacks up the triple. Granger gets the defensive rebound. Well, he surprised me with that move, but he just couldn't capitalize. Swung it to Jackson. Jackson pump fakes, releases from 15. Seawell rips down the defensive board. Bounce pass down low. Granger picked off that pass for his second takeaway of the contest. Swings it to Granger. Passes it to Jackson. The pass to Foster. Seven on the shot clock. Passes to O'Neal. It's stolen by Sewell to Iverson. Tinsel came through with a nice block there. The Pacers with the ball. The crowd on the edge of their seats. Bricked off the back of the rim by Granger. Granger has picked up his first foul of the game. Swiped by O'Neal. That's his second takeaway of the contest. Steven Great Jackson. pass. Let him in. And the finish by Jackson. Eighteen seconds left to the fourth. Tinsley has picked up his third foul of the game. Third team foul. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Perfect from the line, and it's a four-point ball game. The Pacers call time. They're behind by four. 14 seconds left to the fourth. Passes it to Jackson. Passes back to Jackson. Igudala jumped in front of the pass and came up with the steal. Great finish by Iverson.
From half court. The Pacers turn the ball over. That's their 11th of the game. There's the horn. The 76ers defeat the Pacers 44 to 38. It was a hard fought game. You got that right, Kevin. The Sixers controlled the middle today, as you see from the points in the paint. They ran the offense from the inside to the outside and denied penetration on deep. Textbook execution. Thanks, Kenny. We also don't want to forget the Toyota player of the game. Well, he clearly deserves it, Kevin. He gave them an edge in this one. No doubt about that. Weber played his heart out. 13 points, four steals, and he's the Toyota player of the game. Well, that'll do it. On behalf of Kenny Smith, Craig Sager, and the rest of our 2K sports crew, Kevin Harlan saying so long and see you next time.